Hello, welcome to English 1102. In this video, I'm going to do an overview of MLA setup and the five paragraph essay, which is the basic format that you need to know um, for any essay writing. So first, I just want to remind you that we are using MLA format. MLA stands for Modern Language Association. It's one of the many ways or formats that you can use to set up your paper as well as to properly cite the works in your paper. So some things to keep in mind. When you're doing MLA, you need 12 point font, Times New Roman or Calibri. It should be double spaced. Make sure you use indentation for your paragraphs. And also you wanna make sure that you do not bold or underline your titles. Okay, remember the document is double spaced all the way throughout. So the heading, the body, and the works cited page should all be double spaced. Okay, and also don't forget to put your last name and your page number in the top right hand corner of the document. That should actually be in the header of the document. You're not typing it there at the top, you're actually clicking into the header and adding it so that it repeats in your page number updates with each page okay so that's MLA format <clears throat> the other thing that you need to be familiar with or make sure that you remember is the basic format of an essay five paragraph essay you might have heard it in school that means you've got the introduction paragraph you've got your conclusion paragraph and you've got three body paragraphs there are three basic parts to an introduction the introduction should have the hook or the attention grabber this is how you're going to draw in the reader's attention. You might use a question, you might use a story, you might use a quote from some of the research that you've been studying. Anything you can do, make a startling statement, anything you can do to make the reader want to stop and say, hmm, tell me more. After you draw in the reader's attention, then you're going to introduce the topic. So what is that topic that you're being asked to discuss? Go into it, talk about the background of it. You don't have to get too detailed. <clears throat> you shouldn't, in fact, have a lot of quoted information. This is just an overview, okay? So if you had to give in a couple sentences what the topic was about, that's what you do. Then after you give the overview, that's when you state your thesis. Your thesis is one particular statement that says the topic of the essay as well as what your position is on that paper, okay? So... Introduction, three parts, the attention grabber, introduction of the topic, and the thesis. A body paragraph is also going to have three to five parts. The first part is the topic sentence. The topic sentence tells what that paragraph is about. It should be related to the thesis statement. So if your thesis is um, talking about the effects of the vote, uh, voting rights um, or something of that nature, then your topic sentence will be maybe one of those effects of voting um, for that, that paragraph. Each of your paragraphs would be on an effect of voting. After the topic sentence is the support and the evidence. So that could be direct quotes or it could be paraphrase quotes from your sources. Sometimes it might even be from your own individual life. And then also you have your last part of the body paragraph which is your analysis or your commentary so claim quote comment <clears throat> that's the basic three parts of a body paragraph however if you're incorporating quotes from other sources then you're going to make sure or need to make sure that you're introducing that quoted information so before the evidence you should have a signal phrase signal phrase introduces the author and the title there are three types of signal phrases. There's complete, partial, and generic. Complete gives the author's full name, the full title of the source, and um, it might give some information or a brief summary of that source before you actually quote from it. Of course, once you've given a complete framing device, you don't need to do that every time, right? So the next time, it could be a partial and a generic. Partial just means you're using just the author's last name, or you're using just the title. And then the generic is when you just say something like researchers state or supporters agree, okay? So signal phrases usually are before the quoted information. Although sometimes you might find them in the middle or after, but I don't wanna confuse you. Just make sure you have that signal phrase there at the beginning. Then after your evidence or quoted information, you're gonna have your in-text citation, also referred to as a parenthetical reference. 
This is in parentheses at the end. And basic MLA just calls for the author's last name and page number, but there are other variations. Please refer to the lecture material notes for more information on that. So those are the five parts of a body paragraph. And then there's the conclusion. What do we do in the conclusion? Well, it's the wrap up. Don't introduce new ideas. All you're going to say is, you know, these are the points that I talked about. If it's a really long paper, you don't have to list all the points that you talk about, just the major um, points that you make. But it's basically a summary of your paper. And the final thing you should do in that conclusion then is leave the reader with something to think about. A little tip or trick that I like to use is somehow if in the introduction my title or my hook is referring to something, like maybe I might have a question, then in my conclusion at the end, I might answer that question. So that's an option, you know, just kind of making your conclusion refer back somehow to your introduction or your, um, um, what would I call it? Title. There we go. <laughs> All right. So that's it. That's all I want to talk about in this video was the MLA format. Again, that stands for Modern Language Association and also the five paragraph essay. Of course, as you start to write more papers and have longer papers, that five paragraph essay, you have to basically build on it. So you can add paragraphs, but we'll talk more in the lesson about how to add length to each of your papers. Alrighty, guys, have a good one.